Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, where do we fit in this vast cosmos? It's a question that's crossed nearly every mind that's ever gazed upon the stars. The universe, with its limitless expanse and countless celestial bodies, is a marvel that both astounds and humbles us. We find ourselves nestled within this grand cosmic tapestry, small and seemingly insignificant, yet inextricably linked to everything we see. It's a complex, intricate dance of galaxies, stars, planets, and cosmic phenomena that are all part of a larger narrative. This narrative is one of creation, evolution, and perhaps destiny. It's a story that begins with a single, momentous event known as the Big Bang, and continues to unfold even as we speak. It's a tale so vast and so profound that it can make one feel both insignificant and profoundly important at the same time. Today we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of our universe. Our cosmic journey begins 13.8 billion years ago with a powerful explosion known as the Big Bang. Imagine a point of infinite density and temperature, a singularity if you will. This is where our universe as we know it started. This singularity exploded with immense energy and force marking the beginning of time and space. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in the traditional sense, happening at a specific location within space. Instead, it was an explosion of space itself, an expansion happening everywhere at once. As the universe expanded, it also began to cool. In those early moments, everything was a hot, dense soup of particles. But as the universe cooled, the first basic elements began to form. Hydrogen and helium, the simplest and lightest elements, were the first to emerge. These are the building blocks that will later form stars, galaxies, and everything we know in our universe. But how did the universe go from a hot, dense state to the vast, complex structure we see today? The answer lies in the continued expansion and cooling of the universe. As the universe expanded, regions of slightly higher density began to form. These regions, under the influence of gravity, began to clump together. This process, known as gravitational collapse, led to the formation of the first galaxies. These galaxies, vast collections of stars, gas and dust, were the next stage in our cosmic journey. Each galaxy, a swirling mass of billions of stars, is a testament to the power of the forces that shaped our universe. And thus, the stage was set for the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. From a single point of singularity to a universe filled with galaxies, stars, and planets, our cosmic journey is a testament to the incredible power and beauty of the universe. It's a journey that's still ongoing as the universe continues to expand and evolve. So buckle up. Our cosmic journey has only just begun. With the birth of the universe began a process we call cosmic evolution. Cosmic evolution is a grand tale of the universe's journey, a narrative that unfolds over billions of years. It's the story of how a seemingly infinitesimal point of singularity exploded in what we now call the Big Bang, giving birth to space, time, and matter. From this cataclysmic event, the universe began to cool and expand, forming the very building blocks of matter. These particles began to coalesce, forming atoms and then molecules. Over immense stretches of time, these molecules formed vast clouds of gas and dust, the nurseries of stars and galaxies. Stars in their fiery crucibles forged heavier elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. These elements, cast into the cosmos through the death throes of stars, became the raw material for new stars, planets, and eventually, life. In this way, the universe evolved from a hot, dense singularity into a vast cosmos teeming with galaxies, stars, and planets. But this evolution is not a process of the past. It is ongoing even as we speak. The universe continues to expand, galaxies continue to form and die, stars continue to ignite and extinguish, and planets continue to shape and reshape. The cosmic evolution is a testament to the universe's dynamism. It's a reminder that the cosmos is not a static entity, but a constantly changing, ever-evolving organism. Its scale is unimaginable, its history unfathomable, and its future unpredictable. But this grand narrative of cosmic evolution is not just about the universe, it's also about us. 
We are the children of stars, born from the same cosmic dust that formed galaxies and planets. Our very existence is a result of billions of years of cosmic evolution. We are a part of this grand narrative, an integral chapter in the cosmic story. We are not just observers of the cosmos, but participants in its evolution. We are the universe experiencing itself, a testament to the marvels of cosmic evolution. But amidst these celestial bodies, where do we find our place? Our home, the Earth, is but a tiny speck in this vast cosmic arena. This blue marble we reside on, with its life-supporting atmosphere and diverse ecosystems, is just one of the billions of celestial bodies in our Milky Way galaxy. Our world, teeming with life and culture, is nestled in a corner of the Orion Arm, a minor spiral arm that lies about 26,000 light-years from the center of our galaxy. The Milky Way itself is an enormous barred spiral galaxy, composed of hundreds of billions of stars, each potentially hosting planets of their own. It is but one among the estimated two trillion galaxies that make up the observable universe. This sea of galaxies extends in all directions with our Milky Way being part of a local group of about 54 galaxies, including Andromeda, our nearest spiral galaxy neighbor. Our galaxy, along with the rest of the local group, is part of an even larger cosmic structure called the Virgo Supercluster, and this in turn is part of the Laniakea Supercluster, an immense network of galaxies that stretches across hundreds of millions of light years. So where does that leave us? Our planet, our solar system, even our galaxy are but minute parts of a much larger, grander cosmic tapestry. We are not at the center of this cosmic stage, but rather we are tucked away in a quiet corner of the cosmos, playing out our history against the backdrop of an ever-evolving universe. But don't let our seemingly insignificant size and location belittle our existence. For it's this very insignificance that underscores the uniqueness and preciousness of life on Earth. The fact that in this vast, cold universe there exists a small planet capable of supporting life is nothing short of extraordinary. We are a small part of something much greater, a tiny piece of the cosmic puzzle. Yet in our exploration and understanding of the universe, in our quest to answer the most profound questions of existence, we give meaning to our place in the cosmos. So, what does the future hold for our universe? Imagine a vast cosmic ocean, where every star, galaxy, and nebula is but a drop in its unfathomable depths. As we sail on this cosmic sea, we can't help but ponder what lies beyond the horizon. What does the future hold for our universe? One possible scenario is the big freeze. It's a bit like leaving your freezer door open on a hot summer day. Eventually, the heat will be spread so thin that the entire universe will reach a state of maximum entropy, or as we like to call it, heat death. This would mean the universe would become a cold, dark, and lifeless place, with all stars burning out and all matter decaying. Alternatively, we could face the big crunch. Picture this. You've blown up a balloon and let it go. It expands rapidly at first, but then it starts to contract, eventually collapsing back onto itself. That's the big crunch in a nutshell. If the universe's expansion were to slow down and reverse, we would see everything in the cosmos come crashing back together in a fiery, cataclysmic event. Then there's the big rip. This theory suggests that the expansion of the universe could continue to accelerate, driven by a mysterious force we call dark energy. If this force becomes too strong, it could tear apart everything from galaxies and stars to atoms themselves, leading to a universe that's literally ripped apart. While these scenarios might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, they're based on our current understanding of the universe. But remember, our knowledge is constantly evolving. Not too long ago, the idea that the universe was expanding was considered radical. Who knows what breakthroughs the future might bring? As we continue to explore the cosmos, we can only wonder what secrets it is yet to reveal. Our cosmic journey has taken us from the birth of the universe to contemplating its future. We've delved into the depths of the Big Bang Theory, the monumental event that marked the inception of all matter, space, and time as we know it. 
We've journeyed through the epics of cosmic evolution, witnessing the transformation of energy into matter, the fusion of atoms into stars, and the formation of galaxies. We've pondered our place in this vast cosmos, acknowledging our tiny yet significant existence on a pale blue dot, orbiting a modest star in the outskirts of the Milky Way. We've also dared to speculate on the future of our universe, exploring theories from an eternal expansion to a cataclysmic crunch. While we may be small in the grand scheme of the cosmos, our quest to understand it is a testament to our curiosity and resilience. Until next time, keep looking up and keep wondering. Have you ever wondered what secrets our solar system holds? Let's start our journey with Mercury, the smallest and innermost planet in our solar system. Nestled close to the sun, Mercury endures temperatures that can reach a blistering 427 degrees Celsius. Its surface, much like our moon, is heavily cratered and scarred from countless collisions with asteroids and comets over billions of years. With barely any atmosphere to speak of, this tiny world is a barren, desolate place, devoid of life as we know it. Its orbit is a swift 88 days, the shortest of any planet in our solar system. Yet, despite its speedy orbit, a day on Mercury, from sunrise to sunrise, is a slow 59 Earth days. As we leave the scorched surface of Mercury, we set our sights on the second planet in our solar system, prepare for a journey shrouded in mystery. Welcome to Venus, often called Earth's twin, but don't let the name fool you. This seemingly serene celestial body holds deadly secrets beneath its thick, swirling clouds. Imagine a world where the air is so dense, it's like swimming in a sea of lead. That's Venus for you. Its atmosphere, a heavy blanket of carbon dioxide, creates a greenhouse effect that sends surface temperatures soaring to around 865 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. Venus spins slowly in the opposite direction to most planets, a phenomenon known as retrograde rotation. This means a day on Venus is longer than its year. Intriguing, isn't it? And if that's not enough, Venus is dotted with thousands of volcanoes, some as large as 200 miles in diameter, hinting at a turbulent geological past. Leaving Venus's inhospitable environment behind, we move on to a place we all know and love. Welcome home to Earth, the third rock from the sun. This dazzling blue sphere, nestled comfortably in the Goldilocks zone of our solar system, is a symphony of life. It's a planet of contrasts, teeming with diverse ecosystems, from bone-dry deserts to lush rainforests, from icy tundra to sun-kissed beaches. Earth is a water world, with over 70% of its surface covered by oceans, lakes, and rivers, a unique feature that makes it the perfect cradle for life as we know it. Beyond its life-supporting atmosphere and water bodies, Earth boasts a magnetic field that shields us from harmful solar radiation and an ozone layer to protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays. These unseen guardians silently ensure our survival every second of every day. As we pause to appreciate the wonders of our home planet, we are reminded of its delicate balance and our responsibility to protect it. As we bid farewell to our home, we head towards the enticing red landscapes of our neighboring planet. We've now arrived on Mars, the Red Planet. The landscape here is a captivating blend of alien and familiar, with its signature red surface due to the iron oxide, or rust, that covers the majority of the planet. This gives Mars its distinctive fiery hue, a stark contrast to the planets we've visited so far. The atmosphere of Mars is thin, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, and it's this thin atmosphere that allows us to see the planet's surface features clearly from space. Mars is also home to the polar ice caps composed of water and dry ice, a testament to the planet's frigid temperatures. Let's not forget Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in our solar system, standing three times the height of Mount Everest. This dormant volcano is a reminder of the planet's volcanic past. As for life on Mars, the jury is still out, but the discovery of liquid water under its surface gives us hope. Leaving the red planet behind, we journey towards the king of the planets. Behold Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. A gas giant of colossal proportions, Jupiter dwarfs all other planets, its mass one thousandth that of the Sun, but two and a half times the mass of all the other planets in our solar system combined. 
It's a world primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, much like the Sun itself. But size and composition aren't Jupiter's only claims to fame. It hosts a family of 67 known moons, including Ganymede, the largest moon in our solar system. Larger even than the planet Mercury. And then there's Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a tempestuous storm that has been raging for at least 300 years. This colossal cyclone is so large that Earth could fit inside it three times over. As we leave the swirling storms of Jupiter, we journey towards the ringed beauty of Saturn. Welcome to Saturn, the jewel of our solar system. This gas giant is renowned for its spectacular rings, a swirling dance of ice and rock particles stretching out over 75,000 miles from the planet. These rings are not just a pretty face. They tell a story of Saturn's history and its gravitational prowess. Saturn's composition, predominantly hydrogen and helium, is akin to that of our Sun, hinting at the raw materials from which our solar system was born. Among Saturn's 82 moons, Titan stands out. Larger than the planet Mercury and the only moon known to have a dense atmosphere and stable bodies of surface liquid. But the true marvel of Saturn is its unique hexagonal storm at the North Pole. Spanning 25,000 miles across, it's a weather pattern unlike any seen elsewhere in the solar system. Leaving the ringed beauty of Saturn, we journey towards the icy realms of Uranus. Welcome to Uranus, the ice giant. A marvel of the cosmos, Uranus presents a mesmerizing spectacle with its blue-green hue. This unique color is not a mere visual treat but a testament to the planet's atmospheric methane, which reflects the sun's light in a way that gives Uranus its distinct shade. Yet what sets Uranus apart is its extreme tilt. Unlike the other planets, Uranus spins nearly on its side, an oddity that has intrigued astronomers for centuries. This tilt gives rise to long, extreme seasons, casting half the planet into decades-long darkness while the other half basks in constant sunlight. Adding to its enigma, Uranus is encircled by a faint ring system, less prominent than Saturn's, yet equally fascinating. Composed mainly of ice and rock, these rings are a testament to the planet's frigid temperatures and gaseous composition. Leaving the icy cold of Uranus, we head towards the last of the gas giants. We've now reached Neptune, the furthest planet from the Sun. A world of deep blue, Neptune's color is a spectacle all on its own. This captivating hue is due to the presence of methane in its atmosphere which absorbs red light and reflects blue. But Neptune isn't just a pretty face, it's a planet of extreme weather boasting the strongest winds in our solar system. These winds can whip around the planet at more than 2,000 kilometers per hour. Neptune also harbors a dark secret, a tempest known as the Great Dark Spot. This storm, comparable to Jupiter's Great Red Spot, is a high-pressure system with winds that would make even our strongest hurricanes seem like a gentle breeze. And let's not forget about Triton, Neptune's largest moon. It's unique for its retrograde orbit, moving in the opposite direction to Neptune's rotation. As we leave the gas giants behind, we journey towards the edge of our solar system. Finally, we arrive at Pluto, reclassified as a dwarf planet, but no less fascinating. Nestled in the icy reaches of the Kuiper Belt, Pluto's story is one of mystery and intrigue. Despite its reclassification, its appeal remains undiminished, a testament to the allure of the unknown. Pluto, named after the Roman god of the underworld, is the smallest planet in our solar system, with a diameter of just about one-sixth that of Earth. Its size, however, belies the fascinating aspects of its icy surface, a frozen landscape marked by plains, mountains, and deep crevices. These features are a testament to the active geological processes that are believed to be at work beneath its frosty exterior. A standout feature of Pluto's surface is a vast, heart-shaped glacier, aptly named Tombar Regio, after the astronomer who discovered Pluto. This icy heart is a bright, nitrogen-rich area, with its left lobe, Sputnik Planitia, considered to be one of the smoothest regions in the solar system. Pluto is not a lonely traveler, as it boasts five moons in its orbit. The largest of these is Charon, so large in fact, that Pluto and Charon are often referred to as a binary system. The other four moons, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx, are significantly smaller, 
but each adds to the unique family that is Pluto's system. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto is its highly elliptical orbit. This elongated path takes it on a journey that, at times, brings it closer to the Sun than Neptune. An eccentricity that adds to its charm and mystery. As our journey across the solar system comes to a close, we're reminded of the awe-inspiring diversity and beauty of our cosmic neighborhood. From the fiery surface of Mercury to the icy heart of Pluto, each planet we've explored holds a unique story, a testament to the grandeur and wonder of the universe we call home. Ever pondered on the vastness of our galaxy, the Milky Way, and wondered what secrets it holds? The Milky Way, a sprawling cosmic city of about 200 billion stars, is our home in the universe. A flat, barred spiral structure spanning approximately 100,000 light years across it's a spectacle of cosmic artistry, a testament to the grandeur of the universe. But this immense galaxy is more than just a celestial beauty. It's a cosmic laboratory, a place where we can study the birth, life, and death of stars, the formation of planets, and the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. Understanding the Milky Way is essential, not just because it's our home, but because it provides a window into the workings of the universe itself. So, are you ready to embark on a cosmic journey to explore the enigma that is the Milky Way? Dive in with us now as we unravel the mysteries of our cosmic home. Imagine a city of stars spread across a disc-shaped expanse with a bulging center and spiraling arms. That's the Milky Way for you, our cosmic home, a marvel of the universe in its own right. The structure of the Milky Way is much like a cosmic pinwheel with a central bulge surrounded by a flat, rotating disk. This disk, spanning a whopping 100,000 light years in diameter, houses billions of stars, along with a mix of gas, dust, and enigmatic dark matter. Now imagine spiraling arms like cosmic highways extending from the disk. These arms, named after the constellations they point to, like Sagittarius or Perseus, are star-forming regions. They're awash with the diversity of stars and nebulae, the birthplaces of stars. The arms are where new stars are born, live their lives, and eventually die, returning their elements back to the cosmos. Encircling this disk is a spherical halo, an older, less dense region extending far beyond the disk, home to ancient star clusters and the remnants of smaller galaxies devoured by the Milky Way in its cosmic past. And at the heart of it all, the central bulge, a densely packed area of stars and interstellar matter. This is where the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A asterisk resides, a behemoth weighing in at about four million times the mass of our sun. The scale of our galaxy is truly mind-boggling. It's home to an estimated 200 billion to 400 billion stars, countless planets, and a plethora of cosmic phenomena. Yet, Despite its vastness, it's just one of an estimated two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. A humbling thought, isn't it? So that's the grand design of our Milky Way, a city of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter. A celestial spectacle, a cosmic ballet of creation and destruction of chaos and order that's been unfolding for nearly 14 billion years, and the dance continues. Now let's meet the inhabitants of this city, the stars, nebulae, and other celestial phenomena. First off, the stars. These luminous spheres of plasma act as the streetlights of our cosmic city. They come in all shapes and sizes, each unique in their own way. The red giants, for instance, are the elderly citizens of the Milky Way. They're stars in the final stages of their life, bloated and cool, yet still shining brightly. On the flip side, we have the white dwarfs, the remnants of stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel. They're small, hot, and incredibly dense. Then we have the main sequence stars, like our very own Sun. These stars are in the prime of their stellar life, busily converting hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion. This process generates an immense amount of energy, which we see and feel as light and heat. But stars aren't the only inhabitants of the Milky Way. We also have nebulae, vast clouds of dust and gas where new stars are born. Nebulae are like the nurseries of the galaxy, providing the raw materials for the next generation of stars. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, 
from the glowing orbs of emission nebulae to the dark, shadowy forms of absorption nebulae. We can't forget about star clusters, communities of stars bound together by gravity. These clusters can contain hundreds or even thousands of stars, all moving together through space. They're like the bustling neighborhoods of our cosmic city. And of course, there's the mysterious dark matter. We can't see it, we can't touch it, but we know it's there. It's the unseen backbone of the Milky Way, holding everything together with its gravitational pull. From the smallest white dwarf to the largest nebula, from the most luminous star to the darkest patch of dark matter, each inhabitant plays a vital role in our cosmic city. They all have their own stories to tell, their own parts to play in the grand cosmic ballet. These celestial phenomena make the Milky Way a vibrant and diverse cosmic city. But where does our galaxy stand in the grand scheme of the universe? It's a vast cosmic stage out there, and we're not alone in this grand performance. Our Milky Way is part of a collection of more than 50 galaxies known as the Local Group. This family of galaxies spans over 10 million light years in diameter, with Andromeda, our closest spiral galaxy neighbor, being about two and a half million light years away. Though it might seem like a cosmic stone's throw away, it's quite the opposite. If we were to travel at the speed of light, it would still take us two and a half million years to reach Andromeda. It's a testament to the mind-boggling scale of the universe. But it's not all about distance. Our Milky Way and Andromeda are on a cosmic dance, destined to collide and merge in about four billion years. This might sound catastrophic, but fear not. Given the vast distances between stars, it's unlikely that our solar system would be directly impacted. Instead, this cosmic collision will reshape the structure of both galaxies, birthing a new elliptical galaxy in a process that underlines the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of our universe. Yet, the Milky Way isn't just a passive player in this cosmic ballet. It's an active participant in the grand narrative of cosmic evolution. Each galaxy, including our own, acts as a cosmic cauldron where elements are forged in the heart of stars. These elements are then spread throughout the universe through stellar winds and supernova explosions, providing the raw materials for new stars, planets, and potentially life. So, while our Milky Way may seem like a tiny speck in the grand cosmic ocean, it's an integral part of the universe's story. It's a place where new stars are born, where elements are created, and where the story of the universe continues to unfold. Our Milky Way, though just one among billions, plays a key role in the cosmic drama. So, what makes the Milky Way so special? Well, let's start with its unique spiral structure. Imagine a cosmic whirlpool spinning in the vast ocean of space. That's our Milky Way. It's a barred spiral galaxy with a distinctive bar-shaped core region surrounded by a flat rotating disk of stars and gas. This disk is home to four major spiral arms where new stars are born and old ones meet their end. Now let's delve a little deeper into the heart of our galaxy, the galactic center. Nestled within this bustling hub is a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A asterisk. Don't let its ominous name scare you though. This cosmic behemoth weighing in at four million times the mass of our sun doesn't pose any direct threat to us. But its gravitational pull does orchestrate the cosmic dance of the stars and gas clouds around it. Speaking of stars, the Milky Way's diverse population is nothing short of awe-inspiring. From red giants nearing the end of their life cycle to white dwarfs that have already exhausted their nuclear fuel, from pulsars spinning at breakneck speeds to neutron stars with densities that defy comprehension. And let's not forget our own sun, a middle-aged star that has been our steady source of light and warmth for over four and a half billion years. But it's not all about the stars. The Milky Way is also home to an array of nebulae, cosmic clouds of gas and dust where new stars are born. These celestial nurseries, lit up by the young stars within them, paint the night sky with vibrant hues of red, blue, and green. And let's not forget the countless comets, asteroids, and planets that call the Milky Way home. Each of them, in their own way, contributes to the grand tapestry of our galaxy. These wonders make the Milky Way more than just our home. They make it a fascinating subject for exploration and discovery. 
we've journeyed through the Milky Way, exploring its structure, inhabitants, and its place in the universe. We've discovered that this cosmic city of ours is a barred spiral, with vast arms of stars, nebulae, and other celestial phenomena spiraling around a supermassive black hole at the center. We've met the inhabitants of this cosmic metropolis, a diverse population of stars, each with their own story to tell, and nebulae, the stellar nurseries where stars are born. We've learned that our galaxy is just one of billions in the universe, each playing a part in the cosmic ballet of evolution. We've marveled at the stunning wonders that lie within our galaxy's boundaries, from the dazzling star clusters to the ethereal beauty of the nebulae to the enigmatic black holes. As we gaze at the night sky, we are looking at our cosmic home, the grand and beautiful Milky Way. Remember, we are but a speck in this vast cosmic city, yet we have the power to understand and appreciate its majesty. Have you ever pondered over the mysteries of the universe? What if the answers lie in the unseen? Welcome to the enigmatic universe, a boundless expanse of space and time teeming with galaxies, stars, planets and life. It's a vast playground of matter and energy, weaving an intricate cosmic tapestry. The universe as we know it is primarily made of two components, matter and energy. Matter the stuff that makes up everything we can touch, feel, and see, from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. And energy, the driving force that keeps the universe in motion. Matter and energy, though crucial, are only the tip of the cosmic iceberg. There's more to the universe than meets the eye. Enter the unseen elements of the universe, dark matter and dark energy. They are the elusive unknowns, the enigmas that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. Dark matter, an invisible entity that, despite its stealth, exerts a gravitational pull on everything around it. It's like the unseen puppeteer, shaping the universe's structure from behind the cosmic curtain. And dark energy, an even more mysterious force, seemingly working against gravity, causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. These two shadowy characters, Dark matter and dark energy are the universe's best-kept secrets. They don't interact with light, making them invisible and undetectable by traditional means. Yet their effects are profound, leaving indelible marks on the cosmic stage. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember there's more than just the twinkling stars and distant galaxies. There's a hidden universe, a dark universe, lurking beneath the surface. It's a universe that we are just beginning to explore. A universe filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Imagine, the unseen dark matter and dark energy make up about 95% of the universe. So what exactly is this dark matter that invisibly shapes the universe? Well, let's delve into the cosmic depths to find out. Dark matter, as the name suggests, is a form of matter that is, well, dark. It doesn't absorb, emit, or reflect light making it completely invisible to our eyes and conventional detection methods. It's like the ghost of the cosmos, hiding in plain sight. But what makes us so sure it exists if we can't see it? The answer lies in its gravitational effects. Dark matter interacts with the universe solely through gravity. It tugs and pulls at stars and galaxies, influencing their motion. When astronomers observe the speed at which galaxies rotate, they find that the outer stars are moving much faster than expected. There's an unseen hand at play here, and that unseen hand is dark matter, providing the extra gravitational oomph needed to keep those stars in check. Now think about how galaxies cluster together in vast cosmic webs. It's dark matter that forms the backbone of these structures. It acts as the cosmic glue, holding galaxies together and preventing them from drifting apart. But why is dark matter invisible? It all boils down to the fact that dark matter doesn't interact with light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation. It's like trying to see the wind. You can't see it directly, but you can observe its effects on the world around you. Dark matter might be the universe's best-kept secret, but it's also one of its most influential players. It's the invisible sculptor, shaping galaxies and determining the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Without it, our universe would look very different, and we might not even be here to ponder its mysteries. 
So while we may not be able to see dark matter we can certainly feel its presence. It's silently shaping our universe, molding galaxies and holding the cosmic web together. Dark matter though invisible has a significant role in shaping our universe, much like an invisible sculptor. Now that we understand dark matter, what about dark energy, the force that accelerates the universe's expansion? Let's dive into the enigma of dark energy. Picture the universe as a cosmic balloon. As we blow air into it, the balloon expands. The universe behaves similarly except there's an unseen force inflating it at an accelerating rate. This force, my friends, is what we call dark energy. Dark energy is a peculiar concept even for scientists. It's an invisible form of energy that exists everywhere and fills up all of space. Think of it as the background noise of the universe, subtle yet omnipresent. But here's the catch. It doesn't interact with matter or light, making it incredibly elusive and challenging to detect or measure. So, how do we know it's there? Well, it's all about the universe's expansion. Edwin Hubble, back in the 1920s, discovered that galaxies are moving away from us. And the farther they are, the faster they're moving. This revelation meant that the universe is expanding, a concept that was quite mind-boggling at the time. Fast forward to the late 90s, and scientists discovered something even more astonishing. The universe's expansion isn't just happening, it's accelerating. This acceleration can't be explained by the known laws of physics. There had to be an unseen mysterious force driving it. Enter dark energy. But understanding dark energy is no easy feat. It's like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. The more you try to grasp it, the more it slips through your fingers. Despite its elusive nature, scientists are relentlessly pursuing answers. Various theories and experiments are underway, each hoping to shed light on this cosmic conundrum. Dark energy, in all its mystery, plays a crucial role in shaping the universe. It's the silent puppet master, pulling the strings of cosmic expansion, dictating the fate of the universe. As we continue to explore and understand this enigmatic force, we're not just uncovering the secrets of the universe, we're also delving deeper into our existence and place in the cosmos. Dark energy, a mysterious entity, is the driving force behind our ever-expanding universe. Unraveling these mysteries of the universe is no easy task, but scientists are relentlessly pursuing answers. The journey to understand dark matter and dark energy is filled with challenges that require innovative thinking and cutting-edge technology. Yet the scientific community remains undeterred, driven by the thirst to know more about the universe's unseen forces. In the quest to understand dark matter, various theories have been proposed. One such theory suggests that dark matter is composed of weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs. These elusive particles, yet to be directly observed, could be billions of times more massive than protons, and yet interact so weakly with regular matter that they pass through it almost undetected. Experiments are underway to detect these particles, with facilities like the Large Hadron Collider and underground labs like the Xenon Project in Italy, seeking to capture a glimpse of these elusive WIMPs. These experiments aim to detect the rare collisions between dark matter and regular matter, which could provide conclusive evidence of dark matter's existence. Meanwhile, understanding dark energy is proving to be an equally challenging task. Theories range from the cosmological constant, which suggests dark energy is a form of vacuum energy that permeates all of space, to quintessence, a dynamic field whose energy density can vary in time and space. Astronomers are also studying distant supernovae to measure how the expansion rate of the universe changes over time. Observations from these studies are helping to refine our understanding of dark energy and its influence on the universe's expansion. It's a fascinating time for cosmological research. Each experiment, each new observation, brings us one step closer to understanding the universe's enigmatic constituents, dark matter and dark energy. These unseen forces shaping our universe in ways we are only beginning to understand continue to captivate scientists and curious minds alike. The quest to understand our universe's unseen forces, dark matter and dark energy, continues. And with every new discovery, 
we further unravel the mysteries that make up the vast cosmic tapestry we call home. So, what have we learned about the invisible forces that dominate our universe? We've taken quite a journey today, delving into the enigma that is our universe, a cosmos shaped significantly by forces unseen, dark matter, and dark energy. These two invisible actors play crucial roles, one sculpting the universe and the other accelerating its expansion. Let's retrace our steps to the concept of dark matter. This unseen sculptor, though invisible to our telescopes, makes its presence known through gravitational effects. It binds galaxies together, acting as the glue that prevents stars from simply flying off into the vast expanse of space. It's this dark matter that forms the cosmic web, the large-scale structure of our universe. Then we ventured into the realm of dark energy, the mysterious expander. This force works in opposition to gravity, driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. It's like a cosmic anti-gravity, pushing galaxies apart and stretching the fabric of space-time itself. It's the reason why, when we look out into the universe, we observe galaxies moving away from us at ever-increasing speeds. But the real beauty of these forces lies in the questions they raise, the mysteries they present. We explored some of the ongoing research and theories aimed at understanding these enigmatic phenomena. From the WIMP particles and axions of dark matter, to the cosmological constant and quintessence of dark energy, scientists are tirelessly working to unravel these cosmic mysteries. Yet the truth remains that we understand only a sliver of these cosmic forces. The universe is akin to an iceberg, with the visible matter we understand being merely the tip, while the vast majority, the dark matter and dark energy, remain submerged in mystery. While we have much to learn, it's fascinating to know that the unseen forces, dark matter and dark energy hold the keys to many of the universe's mysteries. Have you ever pondered what will become of our universe in the distant future? It's a question that has captivated the human mind for centuries, one that has driven us to peer beyond our own world, to gaze at the stars and wonder. This question has birthed cosmology, the scientific study of the large-scale properties of the universe as a whole. In our quest to understand the universe's ultimate fate, we find ourselves standing at the precipice of vast cosmic landscapes, grappling with concepts that stretch our understanding of space and time. Our current understanding is that the universe is expanding. This concept came into light in the early 20th century, when Edwin Hubble discovered that galaxies are moving away from us in all directions. This observation led to the Big Bang Theory, the prevailing cosmological model for the observable universe from the earliest known periods through its subsequent large-scale evolution. But what does this expansion mean for the universe's ultimate fate? If the universe continues to expand, will it do so indefinitely? Or is there a point at which this expansion will cease, or even reverse? And if the universe is expanding, what is it expanding into? These are the questions cosmologists are trying to answer. The answers, however, are not straightforward. They depend on a variety of factors, including the universe's density, its rate of expansion, and the nature of dark energy, an elusive force thought to be driving the universe's expansion. The ultimate fate of the universe is a puzzle that scientists are still piecing together, a puzzle that has implications for our understanding of reality itself. As we peer into the cosmos, three main scenarios emerge the Big Freeze, the Big Crunch, and the possibility of a multiverse. Each scenario paints a different picture of the universe's distant future, a future that is as fascinating as it is uncertain. Let's delve into them. First off, we have the Big Freeze. This chilling scenario is based on the idea that the universe, as we know it, is continually expanding. Now, it's not just expanding like a balloon filling up with air. Instead, Think of it as a cosmic loaf of bread rising in the oven with every single current, or in our case, galaxy, moving away from each other as the dough expands. As this process continues, the universe becomes increasingly sparse. Galaxies drift apart, stars burn out, and the cosmic temperature drops. The universe, once a buzzing hub of energy and activity, gradually becomes a vast, cold and dark place. 
This is where the term Big Freeze comes from. But the story doesn't end there. As the universe continues to expand and cool, it will eventually reach a state known as Maximum Entropy. This term might sound a bit intimidating, but it's really just a fancy way of saying that all energy is evenly distributed. Like a cup of hot coffee left on a chilly windowsill, the universe will gradually cool until it reaches the same temperature throughout. When the universe reaches this state of maximum entropy, any form of work or change becomes impossible. The stars will have long since burnt out, leaving only the faint glow of dying embers. The galaxies that once teemed with life and activity will have drifted so far apart that they're no longer visible to each other. Any remaining particles will be so spread out that they'll rarely, if ever, interact. In this scenario, the universe doesn't end with a bang, but with a slow, gradual fade into nothingness. It's a bleak picture, but it's one of the possibilities that scientists are currently considering as they try to understand the ultimate fate of our universe. It's a reminder of the vast, unending cycles of life and death that govern not just our own existence, but the existence of everything we know. In other words, the universe might eventually become a dark, cold and lifeless place. But what if the universe decided to turn back on itself? Welcome to the world of the Big Crunch, a scenario that's as dramatic as it sounds. Here, the universe decides it's had enough of expanding and makes a U-turn. You see, the Big Crunch theory proposes a universe that's not eternal in its expansion, but one that will eventually slow down and reverse its course. This is a stark contrast to the idea of an ever-expanding universe we've previously discussed. In this scenario, the universe's expansion doesn't slow to a crawl and freeze over time, but rather it comes to a screeching halt and then, like a cosmic yo-yo, begins to contract. So, how does this happen? It all comes down to gravity. If the total amount of matter and energy in the universe is enough, the gravitational pull could overcome the current expansion. The universe in this situation would start to contract, getting denser and hotter with each passing moment. This is where things start to get a bit heated, literally. As the universe contracts, galaxies would begin to merge, stars would collide, and the temperature would rise astronomically. Eventually, everything, galaxies, stars, planets, even black holes, would be drawn closer and closer together until everything merges into a hot, dense point. This point of infinite density and unimaginable heat is what we call a singularity. It's the same kind of singularity that we believe gave birth to our universe during the Big Bang. So, in a sense, the Big Crunch is like a mirror image of the Big Bang, but in reverse. But don't worry. If the Big Crunch is our universe's destiny, it won't be happening anytime soon. We're talking billions upon billions of years into the future. Imagine everything you know, galaxies, stars, even time itself being squashed back into a single point. Quite a dramatic end, isn't it? Or could there be more to the story? As we ponder the fate of our universe, another intriguing possibility presents itself, the multiverse theory. This theory proposes that our universe might not be the only game in town. There might be a multitude of universes, all existing in parallel each with its own set of physical laws, and each with its own potential fate. Imagine an infinite cosmic landscape, where each universe is like a bubble floating in a vast cosmic ocean. These universes, or bubbles, could be born, live, and die independently of each other. Some might be expanding, while others might be contracting. Some might be teeming with life, while others might be barren and lifeless. Each universe could have its own unique destiny, unfettered by the fate of its neighbors. This concept of a multiverse is not just a flight of fancy. It's a serious proposition supported by some of the leading minds in cosmology today. It's a potential solution to some of the biggest puzzles in physics, like the fine-tuning of the physical constants that allow life as we know it to exist. However, the multiverse theory is not without its critics. Some argue that it's untestable, and therefore unscientific. Others contend that it's just a mathematical artifact of the equations of quantum mechanics. But regardless of these debates, the multiverse theory continues to captivate our collective imagination, offering a vision of a cosmos far more vast and diverse than we ever dared to dream. 
So as we gaze into the night sky and contemplate the fate of our universe, we might also spare a thought for the countless other universes that might be out there. Each one a unique cosmic experiment, each one a potential answer to the question of why our universe is the way it is. In this grand cosmic lottery, our universe might be just one ticket among countless others. So what does this mean for us, the inhabitants of this universe? These cosmic scenarios, the big freeze, the big crunch, or even the possibility of a multiverse, while fascinating, also raise profound philosophical questions. They challenge our understanding of existence and our place within the grand scheme of the cosmos. As we delve into these possibilities, it's hard not to marvel at how far we've come in our understanding of the universe. It wasn't long ago that humans believed the Earth to be the center of everything. Today we know that we are but a small part of an immense cosmos living on a tiny speck of dust floating in the vast expanse of space. This realization, humbling as it may be, has not deterred our quest for knowledge. Instead, it has spurred us on. We've traveled to the moon, sent probes to distant planets, and peered into the farthest reaches of the universe with our telescopes. We've uncovered the existence of black holes, dark matter, and even glimpsed the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. And yet the more we learn, the more we realize how much there is we do not know. The universe, it seems, is full of surprises. But isn't that the beauty of exploration? Every new discovery opens up a plethora of new questions, driving us to delve deeper and pushing the boundaries of our understanding. These cosmic scenarios we've discussed, they're not just abstract theories. They are reflections of our desire to comprehend the universe, to grasp the ungraspable, to make sense of the seemingly insensible. They remind us that we're part of something much larger than ourselves, a vast cosmic story that's still being written. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, we may be small, but our quest for understanding is limitless. As we continue to explore, who knows what we might discover about our universe's ultimate fate. Have you ever pondered the end of time, the ultimate fate of our vast universe? This is the question that has intrigued and baffled the greatest minds of humanity for centuries. Today, we delve into this enigmatic topic, unearthing theories that attempt to explain the destiny of our universe. This isn't your ordinary science lesson, though. It's a journey into the speculative, a plunge into the mysteries of existence that lie far beyond our current understanding. We'll tackle concepts like the heat death and quantum fluctuations, and even dare to question what might exist beyond the boundaries of our known universe. These are theories that stretch our imaginations to their limits, challenging us to rethink everything we thought we knew about space and time. But don't be daunted. The unknown is, after all, just the known waiting to be discovered. So, fasten your seatbelts as we journey into the realms of the unknown, the speculative and the extraordinary. Imagine a universe that has cooled down to a point where no more change is possible. This is the idea behind the heat death theory. Let's delve into this chilling concept. Picture this, the universe as an enormous cup of coffee. When you first pour it, there's a lot of heat, a lot of energy. But as time goes by, the coffee cools down, losing its energy to the surrounding. That's entropy at work, a fundamental law of physics that states that energy naturally spreads out if it's not hindered from doing so. Now apply this to the universe. The stars, the galaxies, all the celestial bodies are like that hot coffee brimming with energy. But just as the coffee cools down, so too does the universe. Energy is spreading out, stars are burning out, and galaxies are drifting apart. This leads us to the heat death theory. It proposes that the universe will continue to expand and cool until it reaches a state of maximum entropy. This means that the universe, once hot and vibrant, will become a cold, dark and quiet place. Everything will be spread so thin that no significant events can occur. Stars will no longer shine, galaxies will be isolated in their own pockets of space, and even black holes will have evaporated. But what does this mean for time? Well, time is linked to change, to the flow of events. 
If the universe reaches a state where no events can occur, where there's no change, then time as we understand it becomes meaningless. It's not that it stops, rather it loses its purpose. And so we are left with a universe in equilibrium. Every bit of matter, every bit of energy, perfectly spread out. No more change, no more time, just an eternal state of equilibrium. In a universe dictated by heat death, time as we understand it would cease to exist, leaving behind an eternal state of equilibrium. Now let's shift gears and consider a universe that is not dying but rebirthing, driven by quantum fluctuations. Quantum fluctuations, you see, are the temporary changes in the amount of energy in a point in space, as allowed by the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This principle from quantum mechanics suggests that there's a limit to how precisely we can know both the position and momentum of a particle. So in simpler terms, on the tiniest scales, the universe is a bit like a frenzied dance party, with particles popping in and out of existence. Now imagine this dance playing out on a cosmic scale. Some scientists theorize that our universe could be just one phase in an infinite cycle of expansion, collapse, and renewal. This is the concept of the Big Bounce. According to this idea, our universe might have sprung into existence not from a singular Big Bang, but from a previous universe collapsing under its own gravity. The Big Bounce theory challenges the traditional view of time as a straight line stretching from the past to the future. Instead, it suggests that time might be a circle, a loop that we're endlessly traveling around. In this scenario, the end of the universe is also its beginning. The death is a birth. But how does this happen? What drives the universe to bounce back after collapsing? The answer could lie in the quantum fluctuations. After the universe collapses, these fluctuations could cause it to expand once again, creating a new universe in the process. So what does this mean for us, for our understanding of the universe and our place in it? Well, it suggests a cosmos that is constantly in flux, a universe that is not static, but dynamic. It hints at a universe that is not simply born and then dies, but one that is born, dies, and then reborns. If the quantum fluctuation theory holds, time might be a never-ending cycle, a cosmic dance of birth, death, and rebirth. But what if our universe is not alone, but one among many, each with its own laws of physics and its own fate? This is the question that drives the multiverse theory. It's a concept that challenges our very understanding of reality and time. The multiverse theory posits that our universe, the one we experience and measure, is but a single bubble in an infinite cosmic foam. Just as there are countless bubbles in a bath, there could be countless universes in the cosmic ocean. Each of these universes, or bubbles, may have its own unique laws of physics, its own dimensions, and its own timeline. Imagine the implications. Time, as we understand it, is bound by the physics of our universe. If each universe has its own unique laws of physics, then the nature of time could be drastically different in each. It's like visiting a foreign country where the local customs, language, and even the sense of time are different from what we're used to. This also brings us to ponder the end of time. In our universe, we speculate about concepts like the Big Freeze or the Big Bounce. But in a multiverse, the end of time might not be an end at all. Just as each universe could have its own unique beginning, each could have its own unique end. The death of one universe might be the birth of another. A ceaseless cycle of creation and destruction, beginnings and ends, played out across an infinite cosmic stage. In fact, if there are an infinite number of universes, then every possible outcome, every possible history, and every possible future might be playing out somewhere. The end of time in our universe might be just another tick of the cosmic clock in the grand scheme of the multiverse. This is the beauty and the mystery of the multiverse theory. It broadens our cosmic horizons and challenges our understanding of time and existence. It's a theory that's still highly speculative, but one that's tantalizingly intriguing. In the grand scheme of a multiverse, the end of time in our universe might just be another beginning elsewhere. As we delve into these theories, it's important to remember how much we don't know. This simple truth, while humbling, is also incredibly invigorating. It's a testament to the limits of human knowledge. 
A reminder that despite all we've learned about the universe, there's still so much more to uncover. Our current scientific understanding is a mere speck in the cosmic sea of knowledge. Our theories, hypotheses, and models have allowed us to make great strides, but they are, at their core, our best educated guesses. We're like children in a dark room, groping our way around trying to make sense of the shapes and shadows. We use speculation as a tool, a compass to navigate the unknown. It's speculation that led to the Big Bang Theory and the concept of dark matter. It's speculation that drives our curiosity and propels us forward in our quest for understanding. Speculation is also a double-edged sword. It can lead us down fascinating avenues of thought, but it can also steer us into a labyrinth of uncertainty and confusion. This is why skepticism is crucial. It's the counterbalance to speculation, the force that keeps our feet firmly on the ground while our minds soar through the cosmos. It's skepticism that pushes us to question, to challenge, to test, and retest our theories until we're as confident as we can be in their accuracy. Yet even with this rigorous approach, there are truths about the universe that remain elusive. While we may have an understanding of how stars are born and die, the nature of black holes, or the expansion of the universe, we are still grappling with questions about dark energy, quantum gravity, and of course the ultimate fate of the universe. So as we continue to probe the mysteries of the cosmos, we must remain humble, skeptical, and above all, curious. For it is in the pursuit of the unknown that we truly test the limits of our knowledge and our capacity for understanding. As we continue to gaze into the cosmos, the end of time remains one of the greatest mysteries, a tantalizing enigma that keeps us forever curious. So, is the end of time a definitive end or just a new beginning? Let's take a trip down memory lane. Remember the big freeze? It suggests a universe gradually cooling until motion itself ceases. Then we have the big bounce theory, proposing that our universe is just one in a cycle of expansion and contraction. And let's not forget the multiverse theory, hinting at countless universes existing beyond our own, each with their own laws of physics. Each of these theories paints a different picture of the end. But what they all share is a sense of continuity, a transformation rather than a full stop. They remind us that for every end, there could well be a beginning. But here's the real kicker. We may never know for certain. The true nature of time and the universe may forever remain a mystery, just beyond our grasp. It's these questions that make us human, that drive us to explore and understand. So, until the end of time, keep questioning, keep wondering, and keep exploring the cosmos.